Welcome to Faces of Open Air. And today I am joined by Amanda Burbrand, MD, who's from Switzerland. Uh, welcome, Amanda. Thank you very much, Rachel, for having me. So I'm really interested to know how you became involved in open air. So um, it's like a longer story, uh, as it usually is. Um, so we had two things happening in parallel at the University Hospital in Basel, where I currently work. So the first thing was that we realized that our data quality is too poor to work with current state of the art uh, tools, like for example, clinical decision support, uh, NLP, different algorithms, and we just didn't have the right quality data to be able to work with that. And at the same time, we were in need for a new hospital information system. Um, so, and then having had this insight into our data quality, we realized that um, it should actually be about the data. So the next solution we have should be data focused and not just buying any system and hoping that uh, it will fix all our problems. And also we were very much aware of uh, problems with vendor lock-in and um, other things that can hamper like using your data the way you want to as a hospital. And uh, from there, we started exploring what kind of data standards there are in the medical world. Um, so we kind of did a proof of concept and we called it data-driven hospital. Um, and we looked into different things and we finally found open air. And it really ticked all our boxes of what we were looking for in a data standard. And uh, because we didn't have much time, we did a, a quick proof of concept with open air to see if it really does what we hope it would do. And we were really, excited about what we saw and uh, we're driving this strategy then further and trying to make open air the data standard for our hospital. So you're the data quality lead for University Hospitals Basel and you've got a clinical background as a doctor. Can you tell me a bit more about your job and what you are responsible for? So at the moment we um, are building up a team of clinical data modelers within our IT in the hospital. Um, and we are trying to really get healthcare professionals on board. So I'm a physician by training myself, and we really try to um, find those people that have a medical background and are interested in data and in, in IT, because we really believe that there's a lot of synergy there. Um, so we are currently building that team that involves a lot of training, of course, and um, also trying to find our own governance. Like, how do we want to model data, what are our guidelines. So this is what we are currently doing. And of course, the interest from the specialty side is really big. So we have more and more uh, projects coming or requests for projects coming from the clinicians and healthcare professionals to help them with different use cases. Um, so at the moment, we try to, yeah, cater to those needs um, and at the same time we have the tender running for um, an open data platform based on open air um, in combination with a new hospital information system um, that also of course requires some some work and uh, thinking yes so looking at the wider swiss environment what do you see happening around open air in switzerland so we saw that uh, the interest after our proof of concept really sparked. So um, there is a lot of exchange in, uh, let's say, pain points and, and problems. And we realized that everyone really is facing the same kind of, of issues, issues and problems. And uh, Open Air really answers a lot of those. Um, so, of course, the interest really is high at the moment to exchange, to get to learn more um, about the, the yeah, the upsides and possibilities. Um, so we really try to connect a lot um, to share what we are doing, to share our insights and learnings and hopefully get uh, others on board as well. And I know there's a Swiss affiliate forming at the moment, which I'm sure you'll be a, a member of. Yes. I just wondered what the open air community means to you. You know, how, how important is, you, is it to you to be part of open air? It is really important because I am a big fan of the community concept so that you really have a, a platform to share insights and also to collaborate on the clinical concepts, the archetypes, um, because that's really, I think, crucial to not developing your own dialect or your own, you know, 
in the end, proprietary standard again, but to really make sure that we have one consistent standard in our ecosystem um, and also to be able to to work together um, also more quickly, right? Because once you start forming uh, like alliances, uh, work can be shared and synergies can be um, explored and work just might be happening much, much faster. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Amanda. It's been amazing talking to you and good luck with everything you're doing in Basel. Thank you very much.